there isn't special holy water the, the spiritualness of this water isn't any different now than it was when it was dumped in here other than the symbolism that it has that he's made an inward decision in his life that he's going to share with you in just a second and this is an outward expression of that inward decision that he is sharing with you guys but i want you to understand that what he's doing is him being submissive to what god's word says but it's also putting you in the position of helping to hold him accountable he's made a decision in his life and he's decided that i want to head in a new direction and he's going to need you guys to help him if he says things he's not supposed to say don't tear him down encourage him build him up as you would want for him to do with you if his attitude's not where it needs to be same thing you get the idea what kind of place would it be if everybody behaved like that if we found reasons to encourage each other and build each other up how many of you would much rather be encouraged than to be torn down that's kind of the way i think god designed for all of us to be so this whole concept of team is really important i believe in christianity that's what we are except for instead of the word team we use the word family and so this is what it says in romans chapter 6 starting at verse 1. what should we say then should we continue in sin in order that grace may multiply and what he's saying there is, should we continue sinning so that God can continue dumping bunches and bunches of grace on top of us? Absolutely not. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Or are you unaware that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into his death. The reason why I think it's important that we have this body of water here is because it symbolizes a physical burying. We're, we're buried with Christ. When you go into the water, this is, this is re representative of a grave, so we're being buried. <clears throat> Therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too may walk in a new way of life. For if we have been joined with him in the likeness of his death, we will certainly also be in the likeness of his resurrection. For we know that our old self was crucified with him in order that sin's dominion over the body may be abolished so that we may no longer be enslaved to sin. Now, Will and I talked about this, and, and I hope you understand that when you become saved and, and you follow up with baptism to let people know what's happened, it doesn't mean that you will not sin anymore. It means that sin no longer holds you captive. You now have a way out, and that way out is through Jesus Christ. So we're, we're all kind of stuck over here on this side. If you can imagine being in a big area, and you're over here living in your sinful life, and it kind of feels like there's no way out. I keep making bad choices, and I don't even want to. You know what, Paul says that he, he, he wished that he made all good choices, but sometimes he would do things he didn't want to do, and he wished he would do things that he knew he was supposed to do. But we're all kind of over here with that going on. God is over here, and God says, if you're going to come to me, I'm going to need you to be perfect. Well, I think if I took a vote and asked you where your mind was in the last 10 minutes, you probably already messed up the perfection thing. I know I, I probably did because I drove over here and the guy in front of me didn't want to get here as fast as I did, and I wasn't thinking perfection. And so how can we who are imperfect get to God who is perfect? Well, God developed a plan, and that was his son, Jesus Christ. And he said, I'm going to take part of me which is perfect, and I'm going to give it to the imperfect. And if you choose my perfection, my perfection is not going to keep you from sinning. What my perfection is going to do is it's going to cover your sin. So that when I look on you, I don't see your sin. I see the perfection that I've given to you. And that perfection is Jesus Christ. When he hung on that cross, his blood symbolizes payment for our imperfection. And the Bible says that that blood literally covers our sin being. So that through accepting Christ as our Savior, God now can look on us and accept us. That's the payment that was made for us to be able to get from here to here. The chasm that separated us, sinful man, from perfect God was his son, Jesus Christ. But it's not, it's not just there arbitrarily. We have to accept Christ. We have to receive Christ. And that's what Will is saying today. So I'm gonna give Will just a minute to express to you from his mouth why we're all here. Guys, uh, 
I was like, I was baptized when I was younger, and going through my life and stuff like that, I felt like he wasn't helping me out. I mean, my grandmother died; she was everything to me. I was diagnosed with epilepsy, and I just felt like he was not helping me. He was doing this to me on purpose. So I just started not trusting him, not believing in him. And after being a part of this team, well, family, listening to Will, his sermons and stuff like that, talking to Coach Hare, and Coach Thomas, and Coach Bill and stuff like that, it's just helped me out a lot. Being with y'all has helped me out. And like he said, this is not a team. This is a family. And thank you, coaches, for letting me be a part of this family. So have you asked Christ to be your Savior in your Awesome. If you'll step in. Y'all, he has grown. <laughs> this is a little body of water. It's a cold body of water. <laughs> it's a cold body of water. We might see more than one miracle happen right now. My brother, because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and your willingness to follow his example through baptism, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried to death, risen to life. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Amen.